Hello welcome to IT Expert YouTube video series. Today we are going to talk about Docker interview questions. What is Docker? Docker is an open source project for automating the deployment of applications as portable, self-sufficient containers that can run on the cloud or on premises. Developers can create containers without Docker, but the platform makes it easier, simpler, and safer to build, deploy and manage containers. Explain the Docker architecture. Docker Engine is an application that follows a client-server architecture. It is installed on the host machine. There are three components in the Docker Engine. Server, it is the Docker daemon called Dockert. It can create and manage Docker images. REST API, it is used to instruct Docker daemon what to do. Command Line Interface, CLI, it is a client which is used to enter Docker commands. Docker Client, Docker users can interact with Docker through a client. When any Docker commands run, the client sends them to Docker daemon, which carries them out. Docker registries, it is the location where the Docker images are stored. It can be a public Docker registry or a private Docker registry. Docker objects, when you are working with Docker, you use images, containers, volumes, and networks, all these are Docker objects. Images. Docker images are read-only templates with instructions to create a Docker container. Docker image can be pulled from a Docker hub and used as it is, or you can add additional instructions to the base image and create a new and modified Docker image. Containers. After you run a Docker image, it creates a Docker container. All the applications and their environment run inside this container. You can use Docker API or CLI to start, stop, delete a Docker container. Volumes. The persisting data generated by Docker and used by Docker containers are stored in volumes. They are completely managed by Docker through Docker CLI or Docker API. Volumes work on both Windows and Linux containers. Networks. Docker networking is a passage through which all the isolated container communicate. There are mainly five network drivers in Docker. Bridge. It is the default network driver for a container. You use this network when your application is running on standalone containers, multiple containers communicating with same Docker host. Host. This driver removes the network isolation between Docker containers and Docker host. It is used when you don't need any network isolation between host and container. Overlay. This network enables swarm services to communicate with each other. It is used when the containers are running on different Docker hosts or when swarm services are formed by multiple applications. None. This driver disables all the networking. McFlin. This driver assigns MAC address to containers to make them look like physical devices. The traffic is routed between containers through their MAC addresses. This network is used when you want the containers to look like a physical device, for example, while migrating a VM setup. Name Docker commands. Here are some examples of Docker commands. Docker version display the current version. Docker pull, image, Docker repository images can be pulled using the Docker pull command. Docker run name, image, Docker run image and create containers. Docker build f, Docker file, i euro Docker create an image. What is Docker Swarm? Docker Swarm is a group of either physical or virtual machines that are running the Docker application and that have been configured to join together in a cluster. One of the benefits associated with the operation of a Docker Swarm is the high level of availability offered for applications. Docker Swarm's load balancer runs on every node and is capable of balancing load requests across multiple containers and hosts. Which is more suitable for Docker container, stateless or stateful application? Stateful applications use a database, DB, to store data or state from client requests and use this information for further requests. Stateless applications do not share data with another application. Each request is independent of other requests. This option is great for Docker. It provides better scalability and improve overall application performance. Explaining the use of Docker file. Dockerfile is a simple text file that consists of instructions to build Docker images. Docker files begin with defining an image from which the build process starts. Followed by various other methods, commands, and arguments, in return, provide a new image that is to be used for creating Docker containers. Various states of a Docker container? Before we dive deep into different states of a Docker container, let's first look into how to find the state of any Docker container. By default, the docker ps command displays the current state of all the docker containers. Created. 
Docker assigns the created state to the containers that were never started ever since they were created. Hence, no CPU or memory is used by the containers in this state. Running. This state signifies that the processes are running in the isolated environment inside the container. In this state, there is no compromise in the CPU and memory consumption by the container. Restarting. Simply put, this state denotes that the container is under the process of restart. Docker supports four types of restart policies, namely a ah, euro no, on failure, always, unless stopped. Restart policy decides the behavior of the container when it exit. Exited. This state is achieved when the process inside the container terminates. In this state, no CPU and memory are consumed by the container. There could be several reasons why a running container would exit. Let's look into a few of them. The process inside the container was completed, and so it exited. The process inside the container encountered an exception while running. A container is intentionally stopped using the docker stop command. No interactive terminal was set to a container running bash. Paused. Paused is the state of a docker container that suspends all the processes for an indefinite time. A docker container can be paused using the docker pause command. A paused container consumes the same memory used while running the container, but the CPU is released completely. On unpausing the container, it will resume from the same point where we paused it. Dead. The dead state of a Docker container means that the container is non-functioning. This state is achieved when we try to remove the container, but it cannot be removed because some resources are still in use by an external process. Hence, the container is moved to the dead state. Containers in a dead state cannot be restarted. They can only be removed. Since a container in a dead state is partially removed, so it does not consume any memory or CPU. Steps for the Docker container lifecycle. Acquire, starts with acquiring capabilities or content. Build, the second step in the lifecycle is the build. Here, you're asking yourself, how do I take that content and actually build my application and run it through an automated delivery pipeline? Deliver, you're taking that built application and delivering it into the production systems. Deploy, the deploy step involves the actual process of deploying your application into production and addressing the need for updates. Run, the run step sets the management system and the runtime environment around your container. Maintain, finally, the maintenance step determines how you'll get visibility into your application. Is it possible to run multiple copies of a compose file on the same host? How? The Docker Compose. YAML file allows you to configure multiple containers and on file. Using Docker Compose command line commands, you can run multiple copies of Compose file on the same host. Docker Compose manages all containers, services lifecycle together. Docker Compose up. We'll start all services from the Compose file. Docker Compose down. We'll stop all services from the Compose file. Thank you for watching this video. We provide hands on training with labs, homework, group projects. Prepare you for the certification. Provide real projects. Internship opportunities. Support you in Resume. LinkedIn. Staffing support. Provide tech references. In-person, online class. Class retake options and more. Call us at 847-350-9034 for your free career consultation meeting. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for the latest videos.